Uh, what is up everyone, I am Demon Fringe, and uh, recently something happened. I actually wanted to cover this like days and days ago, but unfortunately I just uh, couldn't get to it, but I'm getting to it right now. So, do you remember that upcoming Cartoon Network show, uh, Summer Camp Island? Well, uh, it looks like the intro has uh, finally been released online, and you can watch it, and honest, it does actually look quite nice, I gotta say, and of course, uh, you know, just like I said when I previously talked about this show, obviously when you take a look at the art style, you'll see that it's geared towards the much, much younger audience, although... I will still watch a few episodes when it comes out, you know, to show my final opinion on it. And of course, the intro itself really, really does remind me a lot of Adventure Time, and not just in the whole art style of the characters, but also in the uh, thing that um, they basically got the voice actor that can't sing to save his life to sing the intro song. First, we see a nice uh, shot of the characters, then a shot of the whole uh, walkway with the little... Uh, camp houses and all that stuff, uh, then later we see uh, the uh, witches that apparently run the place, and of course all the monsters, uh, the moon is apparently their friend because okay, and of course at the end they gather around the uh, campfire and have a jolly old time, and honestly, I actually am uh, pretty, you know, uh, pretty curious to see what the show is gonna be uh, like and all that, so uh, yeah, definitely I'm gonna be anticipating it and all that. So now with that little opinion piece out of the way, let's uh, get into the article, which honestly really isn't all that long, it says, Cartoon Network USA has released the opening credits for Summer Camp Island, and yes, like I said, it is a, it is a little bit old, and I wanted to get a, get onto it a bit sooner, but unfortunately, yeah, uh, yeah, some stuff came up. It says, in addition to a sneak peek from the new animated series, Cartoon Network USA has also released the opening credits for Summer Camp Island and posted it to, onto their social media account. The intro sets the tone for the series with its calming theme song and whimsically cute visuals some Cartoon Network fans have called the series between a mixture of Camp Laszlo for its summer camp premise and Adventure Time for its array of lovable characters and of course for its sense of adventure, which is pretty obvious. Unlike most other Cartoon Network originals, it seems that this series is more suitable for a uh, younger children, uh, rather than aiming for the typical 18 to 12 demographic that the channel usually appeals to, and of course that's pretty uh, pretty apparent, you know, the art style does look, uh, does look a lot more simpler. I, I do gotta say one thing, even if you're gonna make a ca cartoon like this style, in this particular style, a lot of people are complaining that it's overused and all that, and I do agree with that, but uh, I like the fact that the um you know they basically kept the characters simple but uh, also they made the environments you know complex and all that like if you can see like this picture right here the environment itself really does look nice and well detailed so thumbs up for that one and of course over here you can see a link to the uh, summer camp and uh, you know sneak peek and all that uh, of course you can see that in this article which will be linked in the description and over here we have a tweet from the official cartoon or twitter account and as you can see i already played the intro for myself it says magical days are ahead to check out the opening sequence for hashtag summer camp island at uh, Julia Pond. We also have a Facebook post with, uh, of course, the intro itself from Cartoon Network that says, Magical days are ahead. Check out the dreamy opening sequence for Summer Camp Island with a crap ton of emojis. So that about wraps it up for this article and my little opinion piece. Like I said, I am going to hold my final thoughts on it until, uh, you know, the episodes start rolling out. And uh, yeah, I am pretty intrigued to see what this series is going to be like and all that. Um, I definitely got to agree with the whole comparisons between uh, Adventure Time and Camp Laszlo. I do think that that formula would actually w work pretty well. Well, and uh, I do hope that the, uh, you know, the team that uh, are making this show know what they're doing and all that. Plus, I am pretty happy that they're, you know, doing a cartoon for younger children like this because, uh, like, a lot of a, uh, a lot of today's uh, today's shows that are geared towards younger children are more like, uh, yeah, yeah. Like, if you've seen the stuff on Boomerang, it really looks like uh, cheaply made, you know, like easily, like uh, very quickly shoveled out. So that about does it, everyone. I really don't know what much else to say. So uh, anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and press the little bell icon. And if you wish to support me in a different way, my Patreon link is in the description below. And as always, I'm Demon Cringe. I'll be seeing you guys and gals in the next video.